Okay, to start making the noodles, we've got 10 grams of bicarb soda and we've also got the gas on, so we're going to start burning that off. We've also got 250 grams of flour and we've got half a cup of water. Okay, so we're heating up the bicarb now um, and we're turning it into sodium bicarbonate. And just gently sort of shaking it every so often, otherwise just leaving, leaving it on a heat. So you can see that now. It's, it's got, as it's heating up, it's becoming more alkaline. So we're just shaking that just to spread it more evenly, just to make sure it's, it's um, heating up more evenly. You can also do this in an oven, but we just thought we'd try this and see how this works. If you do it in the oven, you do it for 150 degrees for half an hour. Okay, and just be careful as you're heating this because we are making it more alkaline and it is quite caustic, so it can actually burn you. Um, so just, just be careful when you're doing it. Just do it gently or when you take it out of the oven and, and just make sure you don't splash any on yourself. Okay, so we're getting there now. So the normal noodle te recipe ingredients are flour and water. The reason why we're heating it to make it more alkaline is f because we're making an Asian recipe. So we want the noodles to be, sort of be a bit of a sort of a chewier texture. Um, if, if you think of the type of noodles you have in ramen or something like that, we, we're wanting that effect. Okay, so this is our heated sodium bicarbonate, which is also called baked baking soda or sodium carbonate. And we're going to add water to this. And then we'll add that back. We're just going to dissolve it a little bit and then we'll add that back to the jug of water. So I'm just making sure we get all that. There we go. So just sort of agitating it a bit to make sure we've got all of it in the solution, which we nearly have. And then we're going to add that back to the jug of water there. There you go. So that's our solution there. Uh, so we're just going to pour that into our flour there we go and that's our flour and water and bicarbonate recipe ingredients for noodles we've just tweaked it slightly to give it that sort of chewy texture that you have in Asian dishes so just stirring that up now and that's how it's supposed to look that that's all fine it's a pretty hard dough. Yeah, it's a pretty hard dough. And if it looks like it's a slightly yellow colour, that's because of the alkaline yeah. that's got into it. Yeah, so it'll be, if you haven't baked the baked of soda, then it won't be as yellow. Okay, so just using hands now. So mould it into a ball and let it rest. Yeah. And slap it. Okay, so I've moulded it into a ball, just they're gonna let it rest now. Just cover it. Still let it dry out. Okay, so we've uncovered that dough. We've let that rest. Uh, we're going to cut it in quarters and then have sort of like a folding technique. So we're going to do that before we turn it into noodles. Okay, so we'll just start looking at the first one. 
Just rolling it. We've got a cute little rolling pin there. Okay, so we've got plain flour here. So if it's getting too sticky, because remember we did um, we did change it slightly to make it more alkaline, so your fingers might be a bit sticky. Um, if it's a bit sticky, you can add flour on the rolling pin and on the, the surface that you've got. Okay, so we've just rolled that nice and thin. So we're just going to dust it a little bit with plain flour. Uh, so there's two methods to actually make the noodles. You can either use it through a um, machine like that, or you can chop it. Okay, so we're going to start making the noodles now. We'll just put it in our little machine and turn the handle. And you can see it coming out the bottom there. So you can do it this way, or you can just uh, chop it very finely. If you're not confident chopping it, and getting them all the same size then you use the machine like this there we go and we've got our noodles how exciting okay so what we're doing now is just squishing the noodles together like that and that's what gives them the little curls okay so we're just folding this one and then we're going to chop them so just using the different technique so you probably see this technique more so in Japanese YouTube cooking videos and already a little bit curly So they're a bit thicker than the other ones? Yeah, a bit thicker than the other ones, but that's okay. There you go, so the other ones are just in here, the ones I've made with the machine. And these are just the hand cut ones. And we have those noodles just cooking in a pot here. Okay, so there you can see the um, leftover pork trotters. Uh, we actually just um, reduced them right down and made this stock with the pork trotters here. We have boiled eggs in a soy sauce and rice mixture and then we're just gradually um, shelling them just there. We've also cut up some seaweed and spring onions. Okay, we had pork belly slow cooked in the oven for about an hour at 120 degrees and then we're just grilling it. We well, fried it a little bit and now we're grilling it. We've just sliced that up. Okay, so there we've got the cooked noodles. Okay, so we're starting to assemble the bowls now. So we've got the noodles down the bottom and then we'll put the stock on top of that. Alright, so we're adding the stock to the noodles. Okay, so we'll just start adding the rest of the ingredients. So these are the spring onions. We've also got the seaweeds. So just start putting those seaweed flakes in. Beautiful. So we'll then put um, the eggs in. Beautiful. And it smells absolutely divine. Beautiful. There we go. How good does that look? 